Recently, I've been creating rough paintings on my iPad using Procreate's brilliant reference companion as an aid. I call them rough paintings because the idea is that they're not supposed to be the finished painting, but just a mapping out of the main blocks of colour with just a little bit of detail. I find these rough paintings really help me to build confidence in digital painting and give me great goal-based short exercise practice with Procreate, especially with selecting different brushes and also helping to develop a better colour sensibility. Although I use the original photo to reference and choose the colours with Procreate's brilliant touchscreen colour picker, the colour choice isn't always quite right, so I'll often need to manually tweak it, hence developing my sense of colour. Developing your eye for colour definitely comes with practice. And by the way, this brilliant colour reference companion I use in Procreate for iPad has recently just become available for Pocket Procreate as well. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to show you a speeded up video of the whole process, which took about 10 minutes altogether to finish. And I just want to show you how I use the reference photo companion. So this is the finished painting that I did, and this is the reference companion on the right. Now to bring up this reference companion, you go into the wrench tool, and this brings up the actions menu. Select canvas. And you can see here, there's a little toggle on the blue toggle and it says reference so if you tap on that that will get rid of it and if I bring it back and tap on reference it'll bring it up in the panel. Now at the moment the reference panel is showing the photograph I imported for my camera roll but when you first open the reference panel it will just show the image you have on the left so it will just repeat the image whatever you have on the Procreate canvas so in this case it would be the painting so to import a photograph from your camera roll, tap image and then import and then you'll be directed to the camera roll where you can then import the photograph. Now once you've got this image inside your reference panel, with two fingers you can make it bigger, smaller, rotate it and, and you can double tap with one finger to make it fill the screen. You can also make this panel smaller by dragging from the bottom right hand corner and just making it really small and by tapping the top you can move it around the screen as well. So how do I get started on painting this image from the photograph? Well, well I'll just make that a little bit bigger. Now the great thing is to make one of these little colour paintings I would normally source the colour in two different ways. So one way of doing it is to go to the colour blob in the top right hand corner, tap on that and then create a palette from the image or photograph. If you tap on palettes and then tap on plus and then tap on new from photos and then choose your photographic image, tap on select, it will make a whole palette of colours based on that photograph. And then you can use this palette, pick the colours from this palette to copy that image. For example, let's pick the cream, which is the wall. Let's start with the wall, the cream wall. Create a new layer, pick a big brush, and start painting. Really loosely, like that. Now to me this looks a little bit green, this colour. So I'm not sure using that palette is necessarily always going to be good for this particular picture. So even though it looks cream within those other colours. So the other thing you can do is actually go into this reference palette, tap and hold on the wall and then pick the colour. The colour picker works within this reference layer. So let's paint over that again and you can see that's picked up a much more greyer colour. I'm going to come in because I want that nice white cream that's in there. I'm going to pick a really slightly whiter area on here. So let's go there. And this to me looks more double tap, let's bring that back, nearer to the image. 
So you don't have to necessarily rely on that palette, but it may it may help. Okay, and then I can pick on this yellow again, tapping my finger on the screen, and then paint that yellow. And that looks, because it's slightly in shadow there, it looks a little off, so I'm gonna come down to this panel here, and then paint that yellow. And of course, you know, you make adjustments and decisions about how these colors are working together and whether this looks faithful in terms of the photograph all the time. So if I thought this could be brighter, this yellow, I can tap on the panel up there, tap on my disc, and then brighten this up by just lifting it slightly towards the more saturated and lighter yellows here. And that probably is a bit nearer to the door. And then from then on, I can just pick on these little squares and then just start to draw in and so on. So that's how I'd build the picture from the photograph using Procreate's reference layer. Okay, so here's the quick speeded up video.